Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to do a nice quick easy project which is great for the children. So this is a really inclusive lovely project to do with them. We all know it's hard at the moment having them at home, trying to homeschool them, trying to get your stuff done, trying to just do general household things as well and keep them occupied. So this is a lovely project to do together and we're going to do one of these every week for the whole of lockdown. So I've just got a text and image here. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut out outlines of things in iron on and then you put them onto a fabric item. So it could be a t-shirt or a pillowcase, a bag, whatever you want. You do need it to be lightly colored though. The outline is then gonna be ironed on to that fabric and we can then use washable pens to create a new design every single time. So they can come in, color in their names, color in whatever image they want. It goes in the wash and then they can do it all over again. But of course the design stays the same, but the colors and everything they do within those lines will change all the time. Nice and quick and easy to do. So I've just got a name here and I've done this in Varsity font. This is a good bold font. And what I like about it is you've got room in there to obviously color in the letters. There's lots of fonts out there that are great for this project. And then I've got a chameleon here, which is from Design Space. And again, it's just the outline so that they can come in and color all this in. Now you can do different colors. So if you wanted the name in one color of iron on and the chameleon in another, you can do that. You can do them the same. So if you wanted them the same, what you would do is just highlight all the way around, align and center horizontally. And then you would come down and you would select attach. I'm going to undo that because I do want them to be different colors. You obviously want to make sure that you've sized everything up to how you want it. And then you can go to make it. We are using iron on today, so we need to make sure that we mirror. I'm using my maker, but of course you can use any of the explore models and the joy as well. I'm just going to use normal iron on, but of course you can use foil, you can use glitter, you can use whatever you want. And in fact, I might do the name in a glitter or a foil, maybe a glitter. I'm always changing my mind. Always make sure you put your iron on shiny side down onto your mat. And then make sure it's nice and secured to your mat as well. I've decided to use glitter iron on for the chameleon as well. I sometimes find it easier to weave on the mat. Easy press step 
So we need to put our easy press mat down and our baby grow. So your best friend when using the easy presses is the easy press reference guide. This is fantastic. I use it all the time. So I think we're going to use the mini today. And it is going on to, in fact, we're doing glitter iron on. And it's going on to, I think it's 100% cotton. Let me check. Yep, so 100% cotton, apply, and it will tell us everything we need to do. So a medium heat for 25 seconds. Of course, with the mini, we have to use our phone as a timer. And we're going to do constant movement with a light pressure. And I can add the chameleon on there. Now, because I'm using uh, Easy Press and this has got its frontage, I don't even know what we call this. I just, we'll call it the frontage of the iron on. Because it's got this on, we don't need to put a Teflon sheet down or anything. But of course, if we were doing lots of layers, and any of them were to be exposed without this on, then we would need to put down a Teflon sheet or the Cricut heat protective mat. So I'm going to do the name first for 25 seconds and then I'm going to do the chameleon. And I'm just gonna use my phone stopwatch. So we're gonna come in for 25 seconds. Now what you want to do is a medium, sorry, a light pressure and you want to keep this moving around. Now, normally with the easy presses, we keep them stationary, but with the mini, you actually do want to move it around and around. And make sure you get as much of it, or all of it, I should say. You need to make sure you get all of it to make sure it's nice and adhered. So now I can do the chameleon. And again, a light pressure just keep moving it round and round. So now we're going to turn it over. And we're going to do each area again for 15 seconds. And this will just help for it to really kind of adhere to your fabric. Now this is a warm peel, but not a hot peel. So waft it for a few seconds just to cool it down so that you're able to handle it because obviously we don't wanna burn any fingers. So we're gonna come in and we're just gonna start rolling this back. And if you find that you've got pieces that haven't stuck down, you can, of course, go in again. Once that's completely cooled, you can put some paper in there just to stop the ink from seeping through. You can then get some washable markers, things like the Crayolas are really good. And then your beautiful darlings can come in and colour in and make it as bright and as beautiful as they want. And as I say, once it then goes in the wash, they can start all over again. As always, thank you so much for joining me. All the items I've used today can be found in the description below. Please do subscribe, like, and also hit the notification bell to be alerted of when I upload a new video. If you've got any comments or questions, please do put them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.